Hey y'all, Sherry G. Welcome back to the channel. So look, my commentary today is, um, or in this video anyway, is all around some viewpoints that were shared concerning Martel Hope. You know, I really didn't want to do another video <laughs> um, concerning Martel Hope. I mean, honestly, I just didn't want to give him any more play, but I do feel that, um, that some things need to be cleared up as far as the understanding of people out here, um, especially when it comes to views that I expressed concerning Martel. I just want to make sure that people understand my views and understand where I'm at when, when it comes to Martel. Um, there are some people who are of the opinion that all of the antics that we've seen displayed by Martel on the show is purely for the camera that he's just bringing the drama that viewers want to see. And there are some who also feel that it's wrong to want Martel off the show. Again, like I said, the purpose of my commentary today is to share my thoughts on these views. Uh, because I have expressed in the past that his antics have been a bit much and that they've been triggering. And I've also expressed in the past um, that I'd like to see Martel sit down from the show. So I just want to clarify why I feel that way. So let me be clear. I'm not here to debunk anyone else's stance. I'm only here to share where I stand and why I respect everyone's vantage point as being strictly that, their vantage point. And we can agree to disagree and do it respect respectfully, right? Without tearing each other down. Um, let me also say that hearing these views caused me to personally take pause and examine my own stance, my own thoughts and my own intentions, especially as it relates to these or this situation or these situations. So before I get into my commentary, let me go ahead and give my disclaimer. The views I express in this video they are my views. It's my opinion. It's my way of seeing things. Um, it, everything is alleged and it is for fair use. Also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and like the video. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. So getting back to Martel. In my opinion, Martel does put on at times because he knows the cameras are rolling. Uh, for instance, there's this scene that's coming up, if they show it, where he and Mel are talking. I don't know. I guess I think it's at her um, name change ceremony. And that's where I believe it's at. And um, actually, he's there. He shows up with flowers and all of this. And he's wearing the wedding ring. And it's where she comments, you know, you're wearing that ring that I gave you. Blase, blase, blase. And he goes on to say that, yeah, he's wearing it because he's trying to manifest. And I see you got the memo, too. So anyway, I feel like that is a little extra on Montel's um, part. I believe that um, he wore that wedding, wedding ring. <laughs> For the camera, you know, because Martel's storyline is dry without melody, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a whole lot of other people, he really doesn't have a storyline. The, the suit line seems to be a bust. Um, Inez Wine, there doesn't even seem to be anything happening with that. I mean, he didn't even want to talk about it at the expo, right? Um what else? His builder's license. I mean, we've heard nothing else about that. So I'm just going to assume that that's also a bust. So what does he have for a storyline? I mean, the thing with he and Sheree, eh, not that interesting, right? Um, what does he have? So I do feel like that wedding ring was just uh, to add a little bit of, I guess, something, something to his storyline. I do believe that was for the camera. I also believe that when Stormy had her party, you know, he kind of went after Carson allegedly at the party, according to Carson and um, other people. And I don't know if that will be aired, but the cameras were rolling. He went after uh, Carson at the party. And I do believe that he took a moment 
because he knew that the cameras was there until Carson's um, husband stood up to defend her. And of course, we know he ain't going to go there, right? So allegedly he backed down. But I do believe he was taken a moment because the camera was showing. Most times, though, when Martell is, especially when Martell is turned up and he's turned all the way up, I really strongly believe that that is real. Um, it, his emotions are real. The energy of it, it's real, in my opinion, my strong opinion. Like when he was in Nell's face, I believe that was real. When he was in Miss Van's face, I believe that was real. Now, another time that I think the whole thing was just for a camera and a storyline is the scene with he and his brother. I really don't believe that that was all genuine, where he was trying to be a mentor to his brother. I mean, Martel doesn't have his self together, you know. <laughs> You know, he's struggling himself. So how could he possibly be a mentor to his brother? Anywho, I digress on that. Um, again, my opinion is that Martel is not putting one for the camera most of the time. Majority of the time, it is my opinion that he's being himself. I mean, let us not forget his antics at the reunion. And the camera wasn't even rolling then. He was way amped up, right? And like I said, the cameras weren't even rolling. The entire cast was on edge. Carlos, Carlos King was crying and expressing his concern for his boy. Yeah, I think most people realize that Martel is the father of five children. So it's not that we don't want him to be without employment. The biggest concern is that he get himself together. That's the biggest concern so that he can be the best self for himself, for his children. And if the show goes on so that it is a better work environment for his coworkers and the crew of the show, because in my opinion, in the opinion of a lot of people who watch the show, Martel's antics and the way he, he carries on, um, creates an, a work environment that isn't safe. Now, you know, some people say that, you know, he just brings the drama and drama sells. But, you know, and, and that is true. Drama does sell. People, yeah, people like drama. We like drama. That's correct. But there is a difference between drama and violence. Drama is the rift between Martel and Marceau, where, you know, that scene where Marceau says, you still owe me 3500 that's drama. Drama is stormy and the Scots beefing over $100. That's drama. Drama is Tiffany, all in Martel and Sheree's business, asking those questions, right? That's drama. Like I said, there's a distinct difference between drama and violence. Violence is when you're violating someone else's personal space by barreling down in their face, screaming at the top of your lungs. Again, like he did Miss Nell and like he did Miss Van. Violence is what happened behind the stage at the reunion that triggered everyone. And then there's the unlawful behavior, the alleged P tape. This is why the people who are saying fire Martel are all up in arms because the behavior is outrageous and viewers and fans are over it. It's not just for the cameras, it's life. And it's not because people want to see a man down and out. They want to see him doing well, but it appears that the help he was supposed to be getting it. Either one, it's not working, or he only did it just to appease the courts for whatever time frame he had to do it for, according to the paperwork, but that he didn't stick with it, and maybe he wasn't really all into it. I don't know, but it appears that either it didn't work, or you know he didn't continue it, or whatever. He still needs more, right? And... If what people are thinking is true, 
And in my opinion, you know, he, he has all these traits that you just cannot solve these type of issues overnight. It is going to take a while. So do we want to see Martel down and out and without employment? No, we want to see Martel better. And um, we don't want to see the violence that we're seeing on the show. Like I said, drama is one thing. Violence is something else. And then the unlawful behavior is just what really turned it for a lot of people. And so, y'all, let me just say this. I understand that a lot of people want to see Martel um, pay for the alleged um, P tape, but that is something that is up to Melody to decide as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what she's doing. We don't know what she's doing as far as that goes. So, yes, if she proceeds to um, do what needs to be done, to have that situation taken care of and he ends up having to serve time for that, then of course, yeah, then he needs to pay. But again, it, it's not up for us to decide that. So I'm just trusting that Melody is going to do what's best for her and what's best for her is, <laughs> I mean, that's all we can wish for, right? Um, and that he will just stay away and leave her alone. Um, and that it'll, that'll be just the end of that. So anyway, I just wanted to say that no one really wants to see this man like down and out and without a job. We understand that he is a father of five, but at the same time, enough is enough. Enough of the violence. Um, if we say keep him on the show because he needs a job, and then at the same time, if we say that these behaviors are... Um, they're triggering, they're this, they're that, like we're against the behavior. It's kind of like you're talking out of the side of your face to say that, you know, you don't like the behavior, the behavior isn't good, but yet, yeah, he needs to keep a job. It's like you're still condoning that behavior. I, for one, am not condoning that behavior. And like I've said, and is my strong opinion, that there is a distinct difference between drama and violence and what Martel is bringing to the show is violence that coupled with what happens outside of the show what has happened outside of the show including you know his le illegal activity against melody sheree so y'all that is my opinion that is all i have for this video please like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because i will be back until then ciao